Hello, my name is Tim Van Tim. I'm going to be showing you the useful assets between GPU-Z and CPU-Z. I have the ROG editions for both, just out of the preference for the RAM Black. And here I have GPU-Z opened up. And we're going to go over some of the main points. You got the name of your graphics card. You just got the GPU style. If you got a more modern card, this will probably say Hawaii or Tahiti. And or Kepler or Maxwell. Uh, wait, I should actually re specify that. Tahiti, Tahiti and Hawaii, if you're on AMD and Kepler and Maxwell for GeForce cards. And as you go down, you could get a revision. Um, I've never noticed a revision on AMD card. On some GeForce cards, I've seen that. You got your technology, 28 nanometers. That's rather common. Your die size, you know, just the silicon, really. Your release date, and then transistors. Higher, the better. Your BIOS on the card. Your ID, that's not really needed. The vendor, I have an XFX because of the double D cooler. It's really nice. Also, you have the fun of saying you have a double D cool army. Come on, guys. You got your ROPs. I have no idea what that stands for. And texture mapping units, or TMUs. Higher the better. You have your bus interface, what your card can run at, and what it is running at. Um, I do realize it's rather slow as I'm running at 8x. The reason for that is I only have two 16x slots and I keep on getting pop-ups, sorry. I only have two 16x slots on the top and bottom and because my CPU cooler is rather large, I keep it in the middle one so my graphics card and CPU cooler get the best cooling possible. I lose a bit of frames but I get better temps so that's rather nice. Yeah, your shader units along with your DirectX support. As long as it's 10 or 11, you know, not that bad. If it's 10, you definitely want to start upgrading in the future. Yeah, your pixel fill rates and texture fill rates, along with memory type, bus width or the pipeline. Get your memory size, along with the driver. You want to make sure you have WHQL. Uh, basically, I don't exactly know what that lettering means, but I do know that's basically a stamp that says it is Microsoft certified. You also have your clock speeds. Uh, I believe these are the speeds I actually set during the overclocking video. You got your crossfire SLI slot here, and it'll say enabled or disabled. I have it disabled as I only have one card. Then you have your computing powers where you have OpenCL, CUDA, um, that would be the CUDA cores in your GeForce card, PhysX, and our NVIDIA thing, blah blah blah, and then your direct compute. You got your sensors. This gives you all the important stuff. I'm currently idling right now, so not a whole lot of demanding. But the higher and more filled up the rectangle is, the more demanding that currently is. And you got your validation for bug reports and other such things. Close that out and we pull up CPU-Z. And here we have CPU-Z along with a lot more information. Due to a lot more information, I'll go somewhat quicker. We have our name, we got the codename Vashura. A lot of the modern AMD stuff will probably be Vashura, or I think another name is Bulldozer maybe? Not entirely sure about that. Sorry, you got your max TDP or the power it's going to consume. You also have your watts, your package or socket <laughs> package. You got your technology, 20 nanometers, specification, your class type, extended family, the models. You got your core speed. It's freaking out because I have a render going on in the background because, you know, multitasking. But uh, you'll see it actually goes above. 4.0 because of the turbo mode and also it re-registers because some of the cores are apparently idling I have no idea why you have your caches in your CPU you have your main board or motherboard I have a Asus Tech apparently oh wait Asus and then I have the Crosshair because that's best AMD motherboard out there. If you beg to differ, I'm sorry to say, but the only other good ones are MSI. I have an American Megatrends BIOS. You got your memory. I only have 8 gigs, very sadly. And then you have graphics, which is very minimal, as you also have GPU-Z. And there's the About page, which gives you a bit of information. Alright everyone, I hope this helps you out with your PC and any other informational issues you might have along with it. And maybe even help you with some future upgrades. And always guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This video is brought to you by the Geek Network. Geek provides a home for your YouTube channel to grow and prosper while earning you a little cash along the way. We have partnership deals to bring you free production music from Audio Micro, Epidemic Sound, and Position Music, where many films get their music. 
we also have some unique sponsorships to bring out the inner geek in you. Check the description below to sign up today.